Right. So we are in a Amidrasil on the PTR. And I've been meaning to go back. I checked it out a little bit a few weeks ago. But I really wanted to give it another look. Also, I know that they've added more buildings. There's not as many unnamed characters. Um, our ancient in the back can't seem to walk right, but you know, hey, it's going to be buggy potentially. Uh, but we're going to take a, a tour around uh, Belameth and Amirdrasil. Not you know, not in the dream. It's out in the, out in the real world now. You can visit it now now in the game live um, once you finish the raid. I'm sorry if that's a spoiler. <laughs> but it's it's been a few weeks now, so. Um, but there's not as much going on it yet. Uh, but here we have a mere just little settler. A mere, so there are right now there are night elves just on a constant rotation walking in. Um, Shakar, Plains Guide, are out here helpfully waiting, I guess, for folks coming in. Um, there are sentinels stationed to Belameth now. Um, I just want to look at their gear. I mean, it's what I'm wearing. It's a version of what I'm wearing. I like the shoulder guards are kind of nice. Though. But it's very similar to the uh, Heritage Armor set. Um, so yeah, Amir just a settler. And I'm like pretty much where it meets, if you look on the map, where it meets the uh, Onaran Plains. Or rather, this is the... Uh, this is the... Emerald Gateway area, and then this is Billet. Uh So we're gonna actually take a little, little, little tour. So I'm gonna follow the main road first. And it's a lot more green than other Night Elven um, areas, which I'm fine with. Some people complained about that. I'm like, it came out of the Emerald Dream. Give it a break. Us. <laughs> There's other people from mostly say Mirdrasil settlers. But I know there are ones that don't. But we're just gonna follow the road up, the main road. Apparently I have mail. Crew of the month club. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I copied that over. Uh, yeah, I'm not bothering with any of that stuff. I don't have any add-ons on, nothing. Um, so we have some Huntress, Kila Nightbo. One of the things I do want to do at some point is, once it's live, because I'm not going to mess with it um, while it's not, is I want to go back to old Teldrassil and um, all the areas that have been affected by um, you know, the Cataclysm and by... Sylvanas, um, and look for Bellameth Huntress, that's just the generic one, and look to see if, because I'm terrible with names in real life, I'm even worse when it comes to video games, but if you, if I remember them from a certain story, I'll remember the story, but I will not remember what the heck their name was. Um, I'm stopping here because this, there, because due to another new thing since the last time I've been the PTR. So what I want to do is one time I want to go and visit those areas and note which ones are now in Amirdrasil. There are certain ones I'm looking for, um, for reasons that I won't discuss. I'm writing a story. Um, and, uh, like, I don't know something as simple as, is my original rogue trainer still alive? I know he made it into Dalaran for Legion, but I don't know if he went back to Eldrassil. <laughs> So, like, I'm like, I don't know if I should include him or not. Um, so, little things like that. But the other reason is because I do want to remember. Now, one of the things that wasn't here is I want to see which ones came over. Rather. Um, these trust chests were not here the last one was here. And they, they one says Caldry Horn, one of them says Caldry Spear. There's the third one that I saw. So, I actually want to go and see if I can find it and click on it. So there is this, this little watchtower here, by the way. 
a lot of these um, structures are similar to um, Valshara in uh, the Broken Isles Legion. Bard, Jared, Jared, Jared Nightsong is here. Where's Jared? I'm assuming it's Jared. Is Jared Nightsong? Um, yes, because I've been in this tower the last time I was here. So it's a nice little little comfy area to relax. Um, a fluorescent dream saver. Good. I see some pets I'm gonna need. A dagger so match is bothering the hell out of me, but we're not gonna let it get to me. Yeah, there's Jared's Shadow Song. Commander Jared's Shadow Song. I think the last time I was up here, though, he was an un he had unknown on him, and I was like, that's not Jared. Honor and courage. Jared stares silently out over the forest for a moment. It is strange. In the last several years, I have often reflected on my millennia of isolation, the silence, the serenity, the simplicity of being weightless, without duty or burden. I thought I longed for it once again, but yet, I think I missed the idea of it, the comfort felt during those long years following the sundering. Seeing this place with so many Calderai visitors and settlers alike brings a different kind of comfort, a renewed sense of purpose and duty, a new beginning. Hey, Jared. Nice to see him here. Serve well, friend. Um, Marana Starlight. She is a warrior. I am honored. You expected May of Status Song to be assigned to mere guard duty? <laughs> she has far more important duties to tend on. <laughs> to tend on Kalimdor and beyond. She asked her volunteers to serve as wardens of Belameth. I agree to remain here. It is an honor to do so. Perhaps this place will eventually become a, a space where wardens may learn their duties and what it means to serve. Good luck, friend. So I know there's the complaint about uh, Belameth. I don't want to get into it too long today. Uh, Belameth not Commander Marilith. He, he does a patrol, a little patrol around there, because I, I know when I was in here another time he was not here. So he does a little patrol around Bellameth, uh, around um, here's Hill. A lot of people complaining about the location and how I didn't find some treasure chest. Where is that? Um, they complain the location is not in Kalimdor, and I mean, I'll get to that again in a little bit. But I, uh, there's enough said about it else. Well, you hear Alex Strauss even say it following the raid. Um, that Vangel Staghelm, when he grew Teldrassil, wanted the dragons to bless it to get immortality back. And because the reason was selfish, uh, they didn't grant it. The reason why the Night Elves got their immortality was to guard the tree, uh, which was Nordrasil, which still exists. Um, it was as guardians. It, and that's why they were given immortality, was so that they could always be there to, you know, honor their vow. Um, Nordrasil still exists. Man, I just still exist and it's still night elven held, but Nordrasil was not never a night elven home in the sense that it was created for them to live in. It was a protective tree put in place that the night elves vowed to protect. It was never to exclude the rest of the denizens of Azeroth. Teldrassil was. It was a night elven city where night elves were and only their allies could enter. Not that I'm not saying that it should have been free and open to everyone, but at the time there was war going on. That's not happening now. People from the Horde actually helped defend Amirdrasil. But they were not defending a night elven city. They were defending the tree. Which does not exist to be a night elven city. The Night Elves are back to their original duty of protecting the tree. 
they have a city there, they run it, they're keeping an eye on it. But it has more to do about the tree than about Horde or Alliance. I am fine with Horde being able to visit Amirdrasil. I do think those that decided to side with Sylvanas, however, <laughs> should be forced to walk around in burlap sacks <laughs> while they're on the island. And they should reinstate all the, uh, like, spit-on emo... emo <laughs> and have, like, you know when, when, you know when, when Beth Knights re-enter, uh, uh, um, the, when they first enter into the cities and people are spitting at them and cursing at them? I think that's what should happen when they walk into a Amirdrasil. Let's say they eventually felt sorry for it, but there are enough of people joke. There's enough board players joking about, yay, when do we get to burn it again? Then I'm just like, F off. Um, it's bitchy. But, uh, but yeah. So I'm trying to find this treasure chest. Where the hell is it? Is it, is it even something you can click on? Is it something that you can click on? Even? Is it on top? Supposedly, like, right here. I bet it's on top. Is it? I see nothing. I see nothing on top. It's a Kaldorai horn. What is even going on? Alright. I mean, it's... It could just simply be a case of it's some wonky it's some wonky um ETR stuff. But I can try to see if there's Yeah, I can't see anything. Alright. And I'll check out the other one too. Since it's on our way. It's a, it's a, it's off the side actually where we're going, but teenage fall. Oh, there, there's the spear. Oh, okay, it's a cosmetic. Well, now I want to find that horn. Cosmetic. Finds to account. I can't, she can't wield two handed weapons, so I can't look at it. But okay, it's a cosmetic. Oh, that's cool. I really want to find that horn now, though. I won't spend too much time on it because I want to, I want to do this in a proper order, but. Uh. I'm guessing it's probably up here. Maybe it's hanging on a wall or something? <gasps> there it is. Found it. Alright. Probably an offhand? Yep, it's an offhand. I think she... Yes, thank you very much. I don't need to know that. So, offhand... Night Elven Horn. Cool! Okay, now now I know the deal with this. Let's head back to the road, the main road. Huntress, Akila Nipa. So I want to like go back to like tell Drasil and see if she was one of the patrols there. I, I can't remember the name. I mean, I know I could just look on Wowhead or one of those um, and, and see where they were. I'm just looking for named characters. 
Bellamed Sentinels. That looks like a different banner, doesn't it? I see something. It's different. It's a tree. <laughs> Doesn't have the moon over it. Um, in the in the image itself, but it's it's a different drawn tree. It definitely has other elements to it. If I want to see if there was something, dark shore visitor. Uh, and I just think it's interesting to see who's here. Who they're like, who they're, they're coming from. They're definitely sent. They're definitely sending a very specific message about who's here and who's visiting Bellameth. And Dark Shore is here. There are my Mount Hajal representatives. Uh, oh, I just want to walk now. Thank you very much, Professor Ash. We are going to pay a visit to Professor, uh, Professor Ash in the live game. So I'm trying to see something because I do believe this is a wisp following it. I think, yeah, there, there are named wisps. I, I'm just going to leave that. That's, that's a thing. Let's... <laughs> Interesting. Um, Telethir, I think, and I am going to look this one up. I know who that is. Oh, he's in Stroman City. He's probably in the, the forest area. Uh, no, he's in the mage, he's in the mage quarter. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's here from Stromwind. Upgraded model. Um, the the houses the new houses are very similar to almost exact to um Valshara uh in the Broken Isles. Weird looking boots. Are those boots? There. Um I was just looking at the sheets, <laughs> the decor. Uh, a lot of attention going into that, so it's nice to see. I'm I'm amused by the fact that uh Night elves have sinks. I don't. I don't know why I found that very amusing when I saw them. Like, oh, they got a little shelf over the sink. They've got some dirty dishes in the sink and a knife. I'm like, okay, they're they're homes now. They're actual homes. Um, but you know, when you're writing stories about so, uh, <laughs> things like sinks are important to know. If they exist or not in this universe, and I never thought about it before. Until I, until I wanted to put a sink in a story. Um, Mithrin Deer shows up in a few places. Mithrin Deer uh, is, I believe, Gandalf's name in Elvish, I think. I, I'm sorry if I just offended a billion like Lord of the Rings fans. I do like it. I'm just not that level of fan. <laughs> I don't speak Elvish. Uh, but I, I, I know the basic story. Um, so here we have, this is a, they're in a tent here. Um, I don't think it's, it's just, I think it's just like a little skinning trainer. Okay. So we, let's look at some of these assets though. I see a new backpack in my future. Saddle, spear. We have, uh, Talana's retired leather worker. I, I want to find out. Like, this is another one I want to know where he's from. We got musical instruments. I mean... More people just wandering around the road. Ah, uh, Darkshire Visitor. I'm going to this building. Hannah. There are doggies. There are doggos in here. This is very important. This is a very important discovery. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm 
it has wheels on them, but it's not letting me. Okay, I can pet them. They clearly haven't changed the wheels to hand things, like, so you can pet them. So there are doggos in this patch. Very important update. Uh, okay, so here we have Highborn Lorekeeper. Oh, interesting. Not that Highborn Lorekeeper is, that, that itself is interesting. But you don't often see night elves with regular colored hair. So it's just interesting that she's walking around with a uh, blonde hair, br auburn, I guess, hair. This one's got the, is sporting the uh, part of that new mug. Um, he's inscription trainer. I guess it's fitting. <laughs> He's got a holster with scrolls across his chest. Uh, interesting. Look, I'm happy to see stuff that has like lore keeper. And I'm like, am I going to be able to put all my books here? Can I keep my books here? Is this what my library is going to be? Please. We've got, well, it's not a stove, it's a work desk. I'm just looking at the different assets. The attention put into bed sheets. I find amusing. Um, what's that here? Highborn Lorekeeper, Chandralar Sorcerer. I don't know. Highborn Lorekeeper talking to Chandralar. But interesting that they're, you know, you have folks saying they are Lorekeepers, which is. These are all like types of characters that had no they were like unknown. They were they were marked as unknown. Hi Gel Visitor. Archmage Morden Evanshade. Um uh, House of Shendralar Shen Shendalar. Shendalar. I am on. It seems like only mere moments ago I was petitioning for our right to return to Kaldari society. So much has changed since then. The Shindalar have are no strangers to sorrow, but it warms my heart to see that our kin have achieved a happier have have achieved a happier end than the highborn of Darmal. With so many promising young students of the arcane gathering here, we may need to establish a more permanent place of learning. Interesting. That might Maybe cause a conflict. Shindler. Um, he first to High Mall. There was a group of the Shindler that were uh, there. Uh, they weren't doing so well. They're gone now. Um. I can't remember the um, Eldrathalas, I think was the original name of Dire Mall. Uh, I'll be I'll be so proud of myself if I remember that. It was the capital of Queen Ashara's highborn servitors within its walls that the elves lived in peace. Uh, Dire Mall. Yeah, I remembered it. I'm so proud of myself. Eldrathalas is what Darmal became. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, there were some survivors. They lived in secret and they came out right before Deathwing struck saying, things are happening. You're going to need us. <laughs> Let us back in, please. Um, and they did. Uh, Solaris Thorngale is one of the Druids of the Flame, you, um, there's a quest uh, in, in the live game now, in um, the uh, Emerald Dream portion of this, worth doing, where there are a couple of um, Druids of the Flame that have um, regrets. Uh, people are curious, and so am I, as if this coloration is going to be available. This appearance is going to be available to Night Elves at some point, because that would be pretty interesting. Um... I think that might be something that happens. Greetings. Uh, but she's Solaris is one of the characters that was there. This is Shindrilla Sorcerer, just generic. 
This is Miller. I forget who he is, but clearly he's one of the mages. Oh, there are portals here. There's a portal of Stormwind. Yay! That makes me happy. Uh, but there are also, if you needed a reminder that there are still Kaldorai and Kalimdor, uh, there's a portal to Valshara, which is Broken Isles. Okay, not Kalimdor. Mount Hijal, or Hijal, and Darkshore. So, there's a, a hub for people coming from other night, night, um, night element areas. So, this, they're still in places. Um, if there's only one place I really have a question about how that's going to fare is Ashenvale, because that place has been contested through several expansions. Heck, that place was contested during Warcraft 3. <laughs> and I'm just curious to see if anything develops in the next patch about that because there's still some unfinished business there but yeah so there's portals here which is cool and the main path goes up to them um, or at least has a section that goes up to it. we're going to now follow this we have a whole, another whole direction to go in and we'll be going there so well before I do that actually I think this route might be faster Yeah, I didn't go this way. Let me just see which way this goes. I might go to... Yeah, yeah, no, we'll go that later. But we'll go up here first, and then I'll come back to it. Well, there's more, more doggos! More doggos to pet! There are more doggos... Oh no, Nat and Hannah are the same doggos. But you can pet them again if you want, because they're doggos, and we like pets. Sparring Sentinel, Elemet Sentinel. Oh wait, this is where I took the spear from, isn't it? Yeah, I was in here before. Ravensmith Talir. So, like, I want to look up where he might be from. It's my memories thing. So you have some sentinels training. Um, Norlea's backstory, resting sentinel. She was originally training as a sentinel. Pretty much your options were level limited. If you wanted to be active in any way. Uh, so. This bridge goes all the way west. So rather than that, I'm going to continue this way. I went up there already. We'll go down this way. There's more tr- oh, there's a Kaldori bag. Let's get the bag. That's one of the reasons why I want to go up here. I want the bag! I wanted the bag, dang it. Where is it? Is it inside? Why is it so hard to see? That's a- that's a- it's not a bag. Oh! Oh! There! Blue Kaldore pouch. So that's another appearance. Cool. Um, I'm going to change my mount. This is something I feel better patrolling in. Um, just, you know, Valshara visitor. Those folks from Valshara. Yes, I did buy it. <laughs> Let's... You <laughs> sorry. Um 
that works. Now I just gotta remember where I put it. Uh, auto. It's Onara. It's Breath of Onara. Just swap these. I just feel like I should have a saber cat when I'm, you know, going through night elven stuff. And this one's appropriate. So back over here. We have trained night saber. I'm wondering if we can get I'm hoping we get new night saber models. What brings you here? Well, apparently not, because I have all of these. <laughs> but it would be nice if we did, wouldn't it? Like, look at... This is definitely a new model. Uh, Le Layla and I, I think she was... Was she the Night Saber of Endonassus? So that's all the stuff I'm going to find. I'm like, is that her? Did she survive? It really is a question of, did she survive? Did they survive? You know, I want to know. Because I want to know that. Um, Velvet Sentinel. It's a little, little, little gazebo. Which is really very pretty. Overlooking the giant moon rock. You've got my hair cut. But you have the green stuff in it. So this up here is Terrace of the Moon. The thought is this might actually eventually be a full temple. Um, and this is just the beginning of it, the beginning stages of it. Sentinel of the New Moon. Sentinel New Moon, I find this interesting because... Well, I'll explain in a second. You'll notice their eyes are blacked out. And that's related to um, the Night Warrior aspect uh, that uh, uh, Geronda took on. I always sort of. I always wondered if. I mean, there are two moons. Uh, Azeroth has two moons. Uh, the larger one, um, known as. Nobody's few names. Uh, but is seen as sort of the embodiment of Loon. Oh, is that Finel? It is Finel. Don't call her Final. She's Finel. Uh, Finel is the last child born on Tildrasil. So, yeah. Uh, Taronda named her. She held her and she named her. She was the last child born on, on Tildrasil. You know, if you need, needed a little... You needed that right now. So, what was I saying? So I always wondered... Uh, and they don't really go into the lore that much. But if they, there was anything in association with the phases of the moon. Um, like you see that night elves, they all shift. They have different, they have their, their, their racial, which is, um, it comes into play so little. No one really cares. It doesn't really affect anything, but they have their, uh, it's here somewhere. Yeah, a touch of a loon. Increases your haste what by 1% during the night. Increases your critical strike by 1% during the day. Um, so not a huge boost. But you see it if you're a night elf. And you when you log in, you'll see if you get like a little sunbeam on you. Or you get a little moonbeam on you for a brief second. That's what that's about. If you've not noticed that. Um, so it's it's that is touch of a loon. So we had a day-night cycle thing going on. Um but if the moon has phases like our moon does, you know, up until we saw the night warrior thing, never really saw anything in terms of phases factoring in. So seeing the new moon, I mean, there's a dark moon festival, so clearly there's a dark phase of the moon. Uh, 
So, or at least one of the moons. Um, the other one digs a blue moon. It's called the Child. Um, but anyway, there's, there's lore on that. I'm not going to go into that right now. But so yeah. So what I was curious about was. Does the like what I was kind of coming up in some headcan in my head for a future fanfic, which now I am writing, <laughs> is dealing with the phases of the moon and the and in a way to explain shadow priests among um, Elune's priesthood, and that it's something that kind of comes as part of a training regimen amongst priestesses. Uh, they have to experience all of it. Uh, and then kind of where they fall in there. Because, again, it's very... Shadow Priests are hard to explain in general in this game. But I figured there was a way to kind of work it into... Um, into this. And into at least a fanfic about World of Warcraft. And that's where I came up on it. So when I saw that there were Sentinels of the New Moon, I was like... Well, if there wasn't something before, there is now. So yeah, um, and I accidentally put Cloak of Shadows on and dismounted. So yeah, they, their eyes are the, the black, uh, blacked out color of uh, the Night Warrior. But who else is here? Um, we have Hamul Rune Totem. Uh, Slendered Glade Song. Again, someone I feel like I should remember but don't, but who's clearly a druid. And we have Lord Falomir. Where is he from? Stone Talon. Oh, from Stone Talon. Okay. Archdude of the Antler. So she's probably from Mount Hydal. So he's from Stone. So you got visitors from Stone Talon. And you've got Archdude Hummel Rune Totem. Nature seeks A legend. In all things. A Magicel has bloomed. Belameth marks a place of healing and respite for the Calderai. Tyrande has graciously allowed my people to walk freely here because of our aid. Rest assured, we are merely here to bask in its beauty. The High Priestess will not regret her decision. I mean, if Hamul's in the case, I trust it. Um, the Druid's Rachel always kind of had a free pass. Resilient. I mean, he's Rune Totem. He's I don't. He's not a Druid, right? He's. I forget. He's a Druid. He said he's a shepherd. Anyway, <laughs> he's Arc Druid, Hamul Rune Totem. He's damn Druid. Bad, bad Arleia. You know this. You know the whole storyline in Firelands. All right. Sorry, I I just blanked for a minute. Uh, shame on me. Anyway, Druids always kind of got sort of a free pass, uh, which is why they're allowed a Moonglade. So, uh, yeah. So it's it's fine. Um, if anyone's going to be allowed in there. I don't know if they're going to allow everybody in. But it looks like they are. Which, again, I'm fine with unless they're Savannah's lawyers. I just think they need to walk out their shame a bit more. It wasn't that long ago. Um, but yeah. Especially not in elven terms. Not in night elven terms. He's got actually the old uh, Darnassus banner on. So, what else do we got? I'm, I want to make sure I get all these chests, too. Up here on the terrace. Oh, it's down here, apparently. What am I looking for? Oh, there we go. Another horn? It's a different style of horn. <laughs> Yeah, there's one style. Night of Night Elven Signal. Night Elven Horn. I could swear there were others of oh, okay, there are there are some folks here. Um Priestess hmm. of the Moon. Druid of the Moon. Um, 
Moon Priestess Lasara. I don't know the ranks of the priesthood. I know Priestess of Illum is supposedly Greetings. the highest level. Um, she sells. Oh, look! Um, Darnassian Cloak. Let's get one of those. I, I'm gonna have to buy it over again, but you know, I came in here with, with more cash. New Darnassian Tabard. Um. Moon Silver Spalder. Oh, those might be the new Spalders. Okay. I have that, I think. <laughs> These are the old things. Um, go let's, let's go to the new stuff. New Darnassian. Okay. Darnassian Cloak. It's a fancier version of the thing. Tabard. Oh, did I just happen to put the tabard on? Is that what I did? Yeah, I put the tabard on. Why not? Um, moon, silver, spoilers. Soulbound. Cosmetic. This is cosmetic, though. Oh, yeah, these are the shoulders I was I was talking about admiring <laughs> earlier. Apparently, you can get them. Cool. I'm going to put that back on. All right, neat, neat, neat. She, it, she does give you stuff... Um, and the current patch, the Emerald Dream. I thought there were more people here before. Oh, right. That doesn't fly. Damn it. All right. Um. Okay, we've got a few folks here. Skylord Omron, Light. Lyessa Blood Watcher. Okay, Druids. Druids, druids, druids. No big surprises there. Uh huh. Where are we? I was at the gazebo already, right? Right? Yes. So, where does this go? Have I explored the whole area around the moon well? Judah the Antler, Cenarian Druid, Ancient of War. Roll Bear Mantle, yay! Wrestling Great Home. I feel like I should know who he is. Yeah, I know him with the thing on his head. Philometh Watcher. You got Sentinel little Sentinel Owls. That's cool. I like that. I need that. Um Bull Bear. I'm awake. I'm awake. I've seen many a world tree tree. Teldrassil, Nordrassil, even Shal Shaladrassil. Ah, uh, that's the one that becomes corrupted in uh Belshara. Yet in all my years, nothing has felt quite like a Mudrasil. There is something different about it. Something warm. Something good. A soft smile touches his face as he looks up at the roots above. Nature serves. I mean, telling you there's something really good about this tree. <laughs> there's been a lot of bad things happening with trees in our history. You may have noticed. <laughs> I have noticed. Thank you very much. Um... Karen, I believe this is the the brother of the other yes of the other uh um due to the flame reformed to the flame rather I need a flying mount All right I, I need a flying mount with that that is not dragon riding I'm gonna be doing enough dragon riding later. <laughs> I mostly want to follow I Yeah, there's something over here. Oh, it's a flight point. Got that flight point. Um so it's the other side of the moon wall, so let's do that actually. Oh. There's some speculation. I saw it uh Telius and Telius and Evitel. Uh said this is a really oddly suspicious thing. <laughs> It is. It is really oddly suspicious, but I like that it comes with the hookah. Um, 
As in, if we're going to put, and I'm not saying I completely believe this, but I'm saying that the plausibility is there that if you're going to put player housing in a Mirdrasil, this makes a good spot. You know, in terms of like how you get in. You know, there, that's that's your entrance. And you've got a hookah out front for your guests, some wine, you know, all the good stuff. And it overlooks the, the moon well. So. And it wouldn't, not that necessarily will be the only spot for it. If there was a player housing, it would be in multiple locations. But I think if there was going to be one in a Mirdrasil, it's really suspicious. Look, I just, we're going to go over here. <laughs> it's really obvious once you, well, once you know it's there, of course, but yeah, look at it. All right. So I don't think I went up this way. So we're going to go up this way now. With some high gel visitors. There is... This, is, by the way, is where you are... Um, Chindrilla Sorcerer. Chindrilla Summerleaf. Where you're questing right now. In the Emerald Dream. See? This is where the dragons are hanging out. Quest for you. This was a tent. You had a mailbox here. Yep, it was a tent. Now it's uh, Elendria is here. She she is she is in the with the game without even got some, got some pictures hanging up. Like I said this one's doing dishes, it's a cooking trainer, it's got a little kitchen. Um, Fildan, you have named wisps. I kind of really love that. Um, you've got sleeping areas again, no freaking doors, but they do have a screen at least. The lack of doors in this game is really aggravating. <laughs> I like that there's a character that points it out. Um, apparently there is something... There was a chest. I'm gonna grab that flight point too. Not that it matters because I'm gonna lose access to this soon, but... So here, this is, this is where it is. There's no... I think there's a small tent there in the live game. But yeah, um, Solania. How may I help? Not only is she uh, your blacksmith. I got so much junk in my bag. So not only is she your blacksmith um, in uh, the Emerald Dream, but she follow. I think believe she's the one that follows you into the dungeon, and <laughs> you're able to be able to repair your stuff. I am gonna sell some crap though. To make room in my bags. That's all. I don't know why I bought those shirts. I'm gonna sell that. Um, Be careful. So in this inn, there's something in here. I think I can get it from here, actually. Whatever it is, or it's outside of here. Dishes in the sink again. It looks the same as the other houses. It's fine, not expecting anything too fancy. Though this one is only one level. Um, but there's something here, I think. Kaldorai shield it says a shield. I guess that makes sense because she's she's a blacksmith. Let me unselect her so I can see. Aha! I was gonna say, is it the shield? Because it's right here and it looks like a shield. So yeah. Um, she can't equip a shield because she's a rogue, so she won't be doing that. Oh, Marilyn, say, I told you, he tours the whole area. Is he talking to me? No, he's talking to her. He tours the whole area. Oh, here she. Um, Fennel is here. Oh. 
I'm just seeing who's around. I already visited the inn with no doors. So the inn. Landry up. Um, I didn't grab the flight point yet. I mean, it's in the same spot it is in the Emerald Dream. That doesn't change. What brings you here? I think, because that's the bridge I just came over, and I was already in there. So I think that's it for this part of the city. I didn't go too far out of town, so I am going to do that. I have one to go south. Let's see. Let's go south first. Melin, that's another wisp. The named wisps get are getting to me. My goal is to not to get to not get into any um, battles. <laughs> that's my goal. But as soon as I go off-road, which I'm already doing, I'm in trouble. My Ancient of Lore isn't going to let me get. But I want to take a shortcut. I, mean, I could always just drag and ride, right? Um, keep in mind Professor Ash, because we're going to go right into something with Professor Ash in, in the live game. I'm going to take a little break and switch over for that. We've got a couple of more things I wanted to do first. That hostel? No. So all these arrows are all lit up and on fire, but they're not here. Lashers are not hostile, so that's nice. I just wanted to see what was over here. funny there's no there's a bare impression of a road here um ashen druid chair a druid in cat form another ashen druid ashen druid what's that about an ashen druid Is that what uh, Druids of the Flame that are extinguished? <laughs> They're no longer Druids of the Flame calling themselves because we have two that are still walking around all red, fiery. I don't know, maybe it is. Sorry about the motorcycles, it's New York City, there is activity. I just pause every once in a while to see if, like, if they're, they're dressed particularly distinctly, though they they make them rather unique. If they're on, if they have a name, like a, they're a named character. So when we hit the town proper again, it looks like I can possibly root bound sanctuary. Maybe I'll just fly down there because I want to hit here. I want to hit the Rootbound Sanctuary area, and then I want to hit Whirlwing Basin. But I may just fly to those, because I don't think there are any buildings in between. And then there's Alithrian Lodge, and Haven Cascades, and there's Belinar, which is a dock, and I definitely want to go there. So I might... And let's head since we're right here.
twisting wood. Isn't all twisting wood, to be honest? Root bound sanctuary. Okay. All right, we have actually a portal. Scenarian Druid. I wonder if this portal goes to the other part of the Emerald Dream. The the one in Legion. I mean, you do have an entrance, though, in uh, Valshara, so it might be redundant, but... Interesting, there's a portal here. I want to see where does it go? Nowhere! <laughs> That's where it goes. So what's in here? If it's a Barrow Den... I don't feel like dealing with the Barrow Den right now. Um, Druid of the Moon. Druid of the Claw. Druid of the Claw. Okay, so it's just a little area. This is a place where Kwanzu... No, Kwanzu sends you somewhere else. It's not here. I think that's where the Druid couldn't fall asleep. In the Emerald Druid. Alright, so let's... I'm hoping Kwanzu... Exits the dream. I think Kwanzu needs to make passing commentary on a lot of things. Oh, so, oh, there was something at the Terrace of the Moon I didn't pick up. All right. Um, oh, another bag. Well, now I know what they look like. Look like this. They come in violet as well. can't see because this thing is in the way. Anyway. Yes. Oh, they're here. It's a slightly different purple. What I might do is I might go back to some older content. I'm just curious, but I also don't want to get attacked by anything. Um, I just don't feel like fighting right now. I'm wondering if um, interesting. They're they're flying in sync. I forgot what I was saying. He'll come back to me, of course, and do something else. <sighs> I think most of these will- I mean, they're gonna be quest hubs. Very likely. Um, the named areas. They have names in the Emerald Dream too, but... Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm in water. It's telling me how to swim. I guess I have the game tips up. I'm like, what the hell is that? No one's had to tell me how to swim in this game for like... More than a decade now, thank you very much, because I'm old. All right, where are we going next? Whirlwind Basin doesn't really have anything. Um, let's go to Arlithan, Arlithan Lodge. Arlithrian Lodge. Okay, so it looks like your standard Night Elven Lodge. <laughs> like, it's just a regular average Night Elven Lodge. Um, trained Night Saber. 
But you can bet, and why wouldn't you? I think it should make very loud purring noises, though, to be fair. Oh, oh. I can pet that too. You you let me pet it, I'm gonna pet it. I hope we get these mounts. I hope we get both these mounts. Is this a hunter? Uh, oh, there are wardens in here. Okay, she's part of the Heritage Armor quest. Um, Marin Blavin, wasn't she in the other tower? What brings you here? Have you seen Lysander? He's stationed with the Sentinels now in town. Maiev herself recommended he be recruited. I know I was there. Why do you, why do you think I have this heritage? I'm gonna look to see if I'm heritage armor I was wearing. Why do you think I have this heritage armor on? I was there. He's already begun his lessons. Although I think he may be taking. General Feathermoon's suggestion of learn our history before you learn the glaive comment a little too seriously. I'm so happy to see him thrive. So yeah, um... Well, I said who's young uh, for a night elf. Um, if you do the heritage armor quest, you find out that, like, he's young. <laughs> he, like, just hit 20 in what would be, like, mortal years. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, I think, and this is, I think, the armor set you're going to be getting next. The warden center. So I guess this is, yeah, because this is the warden thing you get in, um, in Legion in that dungeon. You know which one. So I guess the warden hangout. This is where the wardens chill. Poison expert. Well, hello! Mm. Yeah, she's got a little table full of poisons. Uh. Rel Nightwind! Arian's Shade Whisper. These rogues. I'm in the rogue section. I mean, look at how they're standing. You know they're rogues. They have that rogue stance. They have that particular uh, rogue stance. <laughs> A lot more um, night elves have blue gold eyes, which is interesting. I don't. I haven't seen anything in lore about that. Um, I know it started happening at some point. Um, Real Nightwood is actually with. I, I thought so. I'm like. He's with SI7, isn't he? Um, he's an operative who works at SI7. Um, he shows up in, I believe, Pandaria. He's part of the crew that goes to find what happened to Anduin when he disappeared that time. Um, yeah. He's, he's the, uh, he's, I, see, I, know, I knew him. And Harriet Shade Whisper is... I know there were a few Shade Whispers. It seems to be a rogue name. Um, uh, he is... Okay, he's he's a contact in... Um, Dar he was a contact, rather, in Darnassus. He's definitely got an upgrade since then. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's a rogue that you have to look for, do a mission for. But yeah, Rel Nightwind. Good to see you. Good to see you, Rel. How you doing? But yeah, I, I like how, you know, rogues just have that, like, stance. That cross-armed. What? What? Why are you looking at us like that? Why? Um, there's poisons here, so of course. Uh, 
I mean, it, yeah, this is where the rogues hang out. So this is where, <laughs> this is where our layer will be checking in regularly. Um, oh my God. Um, Thrawn Silent Blade. Remember I said earlier that I was trying to see if my, if the first rogue trainer survived Teldrassil? I just got my answer. That's Ferran's Land Blade. He is... He did not survive Teldrassil. He's in a Mildrassil as a wisp! He did not survive Teldrassil. Damn. No, it's good that I know. I'm glad he's included. I'm glad he was included. Um, I can't talk to him though. But hey, why are you in the wall? Why are you in the wall, Ferran? Oh man. I'm glad to see he's here. I'm glad. I love that he's here. I love every bit that he's here. Shoot though. So who else is here? Miara Night Song. Oh, she was leading the troops in um, PFA. So no, then you still... I hate that I can't remember more names. Celeron I remember. Uh, Cordessa Bribo I remember. Again, I want to go back and track down all these folks at some point when, they, when they're live, but... Tehran Silent Blade. I just recently researched. He's not the... There's one that has a name very similar to his. I'm checking right now. There's the one who has a name very similar to his. Um, that's also a rogue. Who also... Oh no. Sorry. Ferran Silent Blade. The... I got them mixed up. Ferran Silent Blade... Is in um, is in Ashenvale. Damn, that fucks up something. <laughs> That's something I have to write now to tell you why I'm confused. Ron Silent Blade is a rogue contact in Ashenvale who apparently was in Teldrassil and died. The very first rogue instructor you encounter, unless you're doing Exile's Reach. Um, but if you're doing, if you're going through Teldrassil as a brand new shiny rogue, um, the first one you encounter is Frahun. Wait. Yes. Fra Frahun. Shade Whisper. Got to get rogue names. So Ferran Silent Blade is the one that's in um, Ashenvale. Frahun. Shade Whisper is the first road that you would encounter. He's in the very first place you show up in when you, you port in on your very character. Now I need to make a note if you don't mind. Um, shoot. It's confirmed that he died in Teldrassil, so I'm going to have to do some uh, some rewrites. Nothing too big. I only just added a section there. In fact, I don't even think I added his name so I could put someone else in there. Um, I can put Real Nightwind. And that's the whole thing. Astronaut hasn't been updated in years. He's still in He's still in uh, Ashenfeld. But damn, why would he... He went back to Darnassus. Damn. Which now makes me upset that Frahoon is not here. Okay, there's something I can get here, supposedly. Um, oh, there we go. Bow! Cool. Night Elven Bow. That's... Let's see what that looks like. <gasps> Ooh. It looks similar to the Enchanting Dream Bow. That's Night Elven colors. I like it. Alright, I'm gonna look around to see if there are other spirits. Because now I still don't have an answer about 
with the roach. I still don't have an answer. And it's not like there's it's there's no update on why I had a bet him. The last place he was spotted was Darnassus. Um Oh, I just step over okay, so this. This, by the way, oh, that's, okay. Moon, Earth, Plume, Eagle. Um, this is where the whole fire thing was. The Mirdrasil, like the the raid. Random giant turtle there. No fire, just water. So nothing from that crossed over. But this is a sanctuary, which means that it's not hostile towards any- I don't think it, in many places are, but sanctuary usually is very much like Garn- uh, Dalaran is a sanctuary. So, okay, we're gonna go to the dock. I'm a little- I'm just kind of looking around at wisps. I'm gonna have to like write a list of uh, rogue characters in Darnassus. Oh, she's shooting arrows. Damn. Let me find out though when I look up um, Faroon, the one that is here. Um, that he died in some quest and I knew about it for forever, but he was there last time I went to um, Ashenvale to Astronar. He was still there, and Arleia's up. Arleia did all those quests, so there's not like she's missing anything there. Right. Oh, yeah. Huntress, Arela. I'm just looking for named characters. So we're gonna now. I guess we'll take this the side road here. Side road. Well, there's a building over there. I think I'll check that out. You know what? I'm gonna fly there. Let's save some time. I mean, I'm sure once people, once the patch opens up and people update, um, there will be things like character updates. Like Fern is gonna be there. For who know, however, Death Knight. Interesting. Twilight. So we've got a Death Knight and a Demon Hunter coming, which is it's funny for a variety of reasons, but these are the, like two Night Elven Oh, there's another thing I can get over here. Two Night Elven uh classes that are kind of, you know, oh hey! We know who my life is dedicated to destroying the Burning Legion. The no Burning Legion, my dude. It's time you can chill. Death to the Legion. Greetings. <laughs> I like how the text you read is, Greetings, adventure. Well, he says, Death to the Legion. Oh, no, he's, it's Altus saying that. Lord Illidan knows the way. Lord Illidan's not here right now. Azeroth must not fall. For the first time in a long time, that vengeful voice within is quiet. Its hiss is barely a whisper. It has been so long since I have known more than a fleeting moment. Don't of follow anyone blindly. Think for yourself. Twilight Tower Ranger. That is a Dark Ranger. They have Dark Rangers employed here. So already you you have. Like a joint effort between them. She's this is one too. Um, you have Kaldore who were raised by Sylvanas, uh, coming to defense. So yeah, this is kind of the outcast tower, I guess. You know where you have the Dark Rangers, that are night elves here. You have the the. Uh, and they're all they're all night elves are here and you have death knights and you have uh demon hunters okay where is this it's, it's got to be here
Is that as zoomed as I can get? Oh, here we go. Dagger! That's what we want. That's, that's what a rogue wants to see. Wanna see that dagger? That, never gonna equip that. But I, I still want my Kaldrai dagger. It's a belt knife. So this is the um, the outcast tower. Oh wait, 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 who are you? You look like a, are you a rogue? No, she just has the rogue stance on. She's a death knight. So yeah, you've got the the outcast tower. They're they're guarding. They're just the outcasts. So interesting. Like, we want to help, but we don't feel right kind of being with the rest of you. <laughs> Healing doesn't happen overnight. I do like that they still have the whippoorwill uh, ambient bird noises. The foo -doo -doo -doo. That's a whippoorwill. Or a night jar or something. They're in the same family, but I think it's a whippoorwill. Um, freaky looking birds. Interesting sound. Let's get some Argali here. I was following the... There's a chest with stuff thing. And then I'm going to explore the docks. There are wisps, so I definitely want to explore the docks. So. Okay, this is like... Based on your... Uh, very much old style in, but updated. Um, Feel free to browse. Galley chef. I'm wondering if she was on one of the boats that ooh, be careful came out of Teldrassil. Where is it? It's probably over here somewhere. Backpack. That's oh, well, we want that. Let's get that. There we go. Oh, I like that. And we'll see if it's enough for me to change out of my dragon scale, black dragon scale uh, backpack. All right. This room at least has some privacy for three people. <laughs> but it's probably the most privacy I've ever seen in a in a. Is there, a, is there a rock in Is there a robot? Yes, there is. <laughs> um, it's definitely more privacy than I've ever seen in any other uh, inn in this game. So, yeah. But it's definitely based on the good old inns that you would... Uh, Um, Feathermoon Stronghold. Okay, so this actually goes to Feathermoon. So there's a portal of Feathermoon Stronghold. Uh, that's interesting. Who's that? I'm trying to see who you are. Oh, he's just... Generic name, Chandler Sorcerer. Got a little boat down here. little pedal boat. Evan Fall Watch. There's another tower here. See who's hanging out here? Not really anybody. I hear wisps. But I don't see wisps. Nobody here. Oh, wait. Who are you? Oh. Jalen in Whisperwind. She is, um, as far as I know, it has been confirmed whether she's any relation to Taronda, but she is, uh,
Where are you? Roll to the wardens. Uh, she's she's one of the first. She's the warden that basically kicks it off. She's not the one that you fight at the end. She's not Quirrell at all. She is. Um, she's the one who walks in and challenges someone. There. Yes, it's Vault of the Warden. Oh my God, it's a little long that dungeon. I have to think of like I'm go. I was going boss by boss by boss. I think she. You see her there at the start of the dungeon. It's a conversation going back. Um, there's this little area over here. I will check that out last. But I'm going back to the dock now. Never in your blade whisper. This is our dangerous place, Rogue. We must be alert. Hmm, I wonder if that might have to do with pirates! Del Nagi. Pirates that are coming soon, do these have names? Or are they just circling around? Angler, Angler. No. They don't have names. I thought they might, but they do not. Just a lot of them are hanging out. So last time we saw a dock this elaborate, and it was actually not this elaborate, was um, Darkshore. Oh, there's another player here. <laughs> There's a night elf, I believe. No, undead, no less. Ooh. <laughs> Get away from our tree. <laughs> I'll be nice. I'll just keep going. I'm not going to say anything. Um, or do anything. There's nothing I would do. But yeah, I'm curious to see. I mean, you don't put a dock somewhere that's not going to go anywhere. But the Dragon Isles are located... Oh, well, actually, yeah. I mean, these docks could go to the Broken Isles, to Northrend, to Culturus, to Eastern Kingdoms. It makes perfect sense. It's a little far from... from Kalimdor, but that's why there's portals. There's portals, I tell you. There's a boat there. There's nothing at that end of the dock, I don't think. No. So we'll go to the boat. So also, look at this new boat. Look at this new boat. This is definitely an updated model of uh, Kaldora ships. And I'm liking it a lot. Um, you can't go inside, though. I don't like that you can't go inside. Granted, you would have barely any time to spend inside, but I did like that you could go inside, but you can't. So that kind of sucks. Boo! I don't know. Maybe that will change. We'll see. I still don't know what happened to the first rogue trainer. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, because I'm in the Dragon Isles. But I'm in the northern part of... Uh, a mirror so that's what confused me i was like how am i so what we'll do is we'll go to this last area last and i don't know what's there maybe i'll just hold off writing that chapter or put a placeholder in i could always throw in like real night wind but i wanted to really pick someone who was from the area you know um from darnassus for that that particular part. Um, and it's just good to know if someone's confirmed dead in game. Okay, I'm sorry. How dare you make this pupper killable with this big stick? He got this big stick. Look at this stick. How could you? Blizzard, that's not right. He's got this big stick, he's so proud, and you're making him killable, and I don't like that, not one bit. Anyway, I was coming over here, meandering root lands. They're roots, they're in the land. Um, they are meandering. So, um, I guess that is all there is to them. Bunch of wyverns flying around. Or whatever, the sliv sliverns. 
Um, hmm. And I guess that I'm going to take one of those portals. And I could honestly take Yes, this is where Jared Shadow Sword is. Um, just looking at the wisps. It's nice to see. Oh my. Fooey, I thought I might have had an answer. I mean, if I put him anywhere, I'd put him in the end. But... Where were the portals again? Other players. Woohoo. around the lake area they're in one of the buildings i'm trying to remember which one oh it was up from the gazebo if i recall correctly near the temple it was up here am i misremembering possibly probably Sorry, I wanted to look at those rock fighters. There's a random rock guy over here hanging out. Um... Thought it was that way. But from here, perhaps? Yes. Yes! Portals. So we have Stormwind. We have... Mount Hyjal, we have Valshara, we have Darkshire. What I haven't tried um, dragon riding in is. Uh, so I'm going to try that because I'm curious to see if that's possible. Dragon riding. Why are you acting like I've not been here before? Oh, Snoot. Snoot. Oh, Snoot. Why are you acting like I was never in the... in Valshara? I can assure you, I most definitely was. Um, Azuna. Cool. I'm going here because I want to visit Sonic. Who's doing better? <laughs> Stella Ghost is there. Emma Ghost has a wealth is around. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to visit Senna Ghost. No other reason just to, to visit Senna Ghost. Mm. I'm sad. And I'm going to take a peek at Suramar. 
far. I want to know if I can come to think of it. Dragon Ride to Dalaran. A target for you in this area. Be vigilant. Where is Serum in Ward? The Maybe Legion I landed was... right on our doorstep. I and right. Elison simply let them in. Disgusting. Strike it, fell so hold. Show the Legion that some of us are not so easily broken. Listen, Thiller, so you didn't invite me to your wedding. We have a target for you in this area. Yes, I know, Serum. Be Thank vigilant. You just wanted to fly over Suramar. Like, I, it looks like, like I haven't done any of the quests here. An illusion. What are you hiding? I mean, this time, I love Suramar. I know a lot of RPOs go here. Um... I would love, because of the sheer size of it, and how intricate it is, and that it technically should be not a city that's going to attack your face when you walk in anymore, that... It's so huge. Um, it's not... It's just kind of a relic of the past now. Um... I mean, if you start as Nightborn, you can go to a certain area in there, and it's fine. Look, it's Lemon Mask. But once you're done with Sarah Mar, you're done with Sarah Mar. I think. We have a target for you in this area. Sarah. Be vigilant. Chill. Alright, I need to go to Dalaran. Where's Dalaran? There it is. Let's go to Dal. Let's see if we can fly Dragon Ride straight to Dalaran. I know you can fly there directly but normally you wouldn't do it because it just takes too damn long. I was just thinking of like maybe I'll use my my hearthstone to Dalaran I'm like I'm gonna fly to Dalaran why not I gotta go to Stormwind anyway I wanted to hit Outland fly a little bit around Outland because it's Sibelian in his old model form yeah, dragon riding in uh, Dalaran. Look at that. Probably gonna, if we try to go in the uh, Horde area, probably gonna get kicked out. So let me just not even try that. Cause I hate that stun. I hated it. In the old Dalaran, I hated it in the new Dalaran, which is only slight. Oh, I can go to the Rogue Order Hall, right? Where is it? Yeah, it's like it's right here, isn't it? You need something. See you around. I still carry my insignia. <laughs> of course I do. Oh, we have not been here before. Hmm. Is my gear still hanging up on display? Because, like, I did. Yeah, okay. I, not a lot of it, but it's there. Um, I'm just looking at rogues that are here. Max crits. Relax, Rocket. The rogue name sometimes. Uh, Jasper Fell of Stormwind. Um, Uncrowned P Pirate. Random pirates. So there were pirates in Legion, is what I'm saying. Always pirates. No. No Grifta. No Grifta. Defias Thief. Which is interesting, because Defias Thieves here are Blood Elves? When did they join up with Why are they blood elves? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, 
Oh, where's... Oh, there he is. Our, our Torin rogue Hail. friend. What? I've been here the entire time. <laughs> Farewell. Uh, Lillian Voss. She's still wearing her old armor, which is the uh, Lucy Oldewar set. I have it, but... Um, I believe I got it in Oldewar. Lenica still played. I do believe she's still in the game. I know. Kelsey Steel Spark! See, Farun. Now, here's the original. Here he is. Farun Shade Whisper is, um. He is the. He's the very first rogue trainer in the game. No idea whether he survived Heldrasil or not. He is in Shade Glen. He's in the, the first area you start in, the starting zone. Um, and he's the. He has gold eyes. He has. I went to Tarnassus recently. Had them. I'm like, oh, you updated his model. That's interesting. Um, I don't know if he's still in the game. This is Legion. Uh, Teldrassil happened after Legion. You mean right after Legion? Lord Tony Romano. Also of Stormwind. Um, is Farinel here? Yes, Farinel's here. Uh. What do you require? He's gotten... His model's got an update, but his voice acting has definitely got an update. It's far worse. Um, but he's always Watch been a character. Back. But he's, now he's like... he's. I did a quest with him earlier today. Um, and I did the taking back later on quest on another character. Mostly... The, on my mage, on my horde mage, so she could port the new letter on. Oh, this is no flight path available. It's really super annoying. Um, but he now has a, a different voice acting. If you've done any recent stuff with um, a Master Apothecary for now, you know what I mean. I don't have to tell you. Uh, lower in the fence. Um, Gardul, Defias Thief, which are now Blood Elves for some reason. And occasionally humans, apparently. Jorik's power spot. Okay, wait, he is. Um, Arian's Shade Whisper. He is current. He we just saw him in um, upgraded armor. Uh, he was hanging out with. Uh, he was hanging out with. Um, Rel, what's his face? Who's probably here? He's probably here somewhere. Anyway, Frown is definitely the one who's um, the very first rogue trainer you would encounter in the game as a rogue. Vicky the Casa. I wonder what she does. Death Stalker, Commander. Oh, Belmont. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in... Um, Real. He's clearly a rogue trainer too. Uh, when he describes, he doesn't say I'm a rogue trainer, but yeah, he's got all the telltale signs of a rogue trainer. I mean, I'm sure if you're playing a rogue, you enc you encounter Kerplak. Uh, Let, let's find some respect for the Tuscar rogue right now. The Tuscar rogue that is that is here right now. This Tuscar rogue. And I'm just here racking my brain to remember whether or not that Tuscar rogue has always been there. Before I go in there, there's another area I want to go in first. Uh, it's just a little side trip. Noggin Fogger's over there. I'm not gonna mess with Noggin Fogger. Uh, where is she? Lorena Bell. 
Lorena Bell, Master Smuggler, is her title here. She works for Rathia now. Uh, you can find her at the Obsidian Citadel. She is the um, rep. Uh, she's the quartermaster. Rathian. So just a little interesting little bit of that, because I was like... And her brother there is there too, or someone who shares her last name, I think it's her brother, um, is, is there as well. So I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I know you. I know you. Dag is from Warlords. <laughs> He um, is an he's an ogre, and he got himself. He's wearing a top hat. You can barely see him, but he would get him stuck himself stuck in cages all the time. And you'd rescue him, and he was trying to be a, he was trying to be a rogue. He was trying to be stealthy, but he was would always end up in cages. <laughs> so here he is locked in another cage. Um, so yeah, he's not here. Rel knight, knight, whatever is not here. Um, he might be here. I'm just not seeing him right now. There's a lot of folks here. Oh, wait! I forgot the most important place we have to check. Who are you? He's just uncrowned Peacekeeper. It's Chamber Shadows! This is where everybody else is! And in this room, we have... Characters I can't remember if they were in the game before this one. Garona Hefalken. Half Falcon. Half Falcon. Uh, we have Fleet Admiral Tithis. We have Valera Sanguinar. We have Tauchi. We have Lord Jarek Ravenholt. <laughs> I got a few words for you, Lord Jarek Ravenholt. Um, who's not here? You know where Real Nightwind is, so he's not in here right now. Uh, hired bard. We get a bard in here. We get, we party in here, us rogues. We got drink, we got food, we got gold, we have a bard. Should be a bard class. So, where I be there, believe, burler, I cannot all. Um, followers. So, our followers are followers. Um, it's, my, it's currently Vanessa Van Cleef. But we have Garona, Jarek Ravenhold, Matthias Shaw, uh, Princess Tess Greymane, Taoshi, Valera Sanguinar. Now, who's not currently active? Um, Fleet Admiral Tedris, Marinog Fogger. I guess Real Nightwind is not here either. Interesting. Okay, so Real Nightwind is not here. I thought he might be. But the other guy that was standing next to him it was, is... Uh, there we go. Wait, who's that? That is... Tactical Officer Kirath. Oh yeah, I, I remember him from something. I don't remember what exactly. This leads to different secret areas around Dalaran. It's really cool. I really, I really love this aspect. Um... when I was playing um, through Legion. All right. That's really all I wanted to check here. And to see who is here from other expansions. Arantir. Some of them are in stealth. So, you know, surprise! There are rogues in stealth in here. And you can sometimes in certain locations. There's one over here. Yeah, here we go. What can I do for you? Milton Beats. So. Yeah, no real night one. Hmm. Interesting. And still, in, well, the original trainer was. The other one wasn't. The one who's now, we know is dead now, because he's dead now. Vanessa's following me now. Vanessa, I didn't ask you. She wasn't there for a while. Hope. Your name is Hope, Hope. So. 
Now that we're done with that, we are going to... I wanted to go to... Oh, Winter Vale's here. I wanted to go to Outland. I wanted to go to Outland in Northrim briefly. Um, why? I wanted to go to Northrim. I want to dragon ride. I'm not going to draw dragon ride all the way across, but I did want to. I did want to dragon ride a little bit in uh, Northrend. So I'm closer to Northrend. Pandaria. It's also Pandaria. I already know I can't do in the Exodar because there's no. I'm like I can't decide which to do first. Let's let's do sh let's do Burning Crusade first because it's older. We'll start older. I'll do Northrend. I'll do. Northrun next, and then I'll do. Oh, why am I dying? Why am I dying? Why did I have? Why did I come in with no, with no health? What the hell? What was that about? Edgar, can you explain this? Let's get to work. Sure. Can we fly on Draenor? I don't know. Now I'm scared because apparently you can die instantly just boarding in. Um, right. Let's see. Let's... Interesting. Let's try dragon riding. Yup. We're dragon riding in Outland. I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to fly across the Twisting Feather. I mean, this is, is kind of... Oh, crap. I went in the wrong direction, but I don't care. This is kind of this is rather amazing. I love those trees are so broken. forget this is a PvP area in the middle. Blades Ed Mount Mountains. I'm doing this for a reason, aside from the fact that here's those, those uh, dragon spiky mountains. I see a whole bunch of black dragons pinned, like, just stuck on there. But this is where, uh, Civilian decided to hang out. Yeah, we fly around. And oddly, I'm not seeing any of the dragons in the spikes, which I could swear there were. I think, if I remember correctly. Wow. It is kind of cool. Skybox is kind of, I have to admit, is is rather rather nice. Okay, so where are you? There we go. We here here some impale dragons. It's over here by this Coliseum thing or whatever this is. Dragons end. We got a dragon head hanging up there. Yeah, so like they're now friendly the dragons over here. Um, so where is there he is? Let's go laugh at Sibelian's old model. Look at Sibelian's slightly updated old model. And by slightly updated, they changed his eyes. So they're silver now. <laughs> they're silver here. Now they're no longer that. It's like, I'm not a dragon. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, behind me, no idea how that got there. Uh, so, Baron Sablemane. Uh, does 
help out and recruit the uh, the alliance's help. I don't think the the horde really deal with him quest wise directly. Uh, he's in. I don't know. It, maybe I can do that raid. Um, I don't know if I want to do it on the PTR though. He doesn't talk. I mean, he he has he's not voice acted because he's old. My loathing of interruptions is overshadowed only by my hatred of Gruul and the drag Gruul the Dragon Killer and his seven sons. So, you know, he's he's his pleasant self. He's his pleasant self with his epic mustache. Yeah, there there's there's old Sibelian. Um Sorry little guy. Stuck in there forever now. Since Burning Crusade. Um, Gruul's Lair. I forget what Gruul's Lair is, honestly. It's been so long. There's Gruul's Lair. It's like, it, it's got a raid icon, doesn't it? I remember this raid being annoying. Um, which is why I'm like, do I really want to do the raid just to... So we... Because I'm pretty sure he shows up during it. And the only thing I remember about this damn raid is there's a boss that ebbs with you and... I mean, I can try it and see. Worst that happens is I crash the game! So let's see. It's a very short raid. Even shorter. Uh, did I do this in our life? <laughs> I'm always like, have I done this in our life? I must have. I must have. Because I was obviously at the end of the quest. Did I just crash it? Oh, Lord. I don't have any poison on or anything. Yeah, I'm just kind of winging it, like, go do Gruul's Lair for no reason other than to see if... I can't re It's been so long since I've done this one. Well, I know Sibelian shows up as part of the plot, but I don't know if he shows up. It's too far away. I don't have a target. I think this is the first boss, but... I'm out of range. I don't think I got anything that I don't... I mean, I honestly have not farmed BFA. Uh, not BFA, uh, Burning Crusade. Let her be. So... There's probably a lot of a bunch of stuff I don't have. Raid wise, that might be worth some uh, venturing at some point. Look for those. <laughs> I have all the things running, but look for uh, not on here though. Um, look for what I don't have and all the things, and I think that's cool. Kill the dragon killer now. Is the going to show up? Come and die. Who talks to me? That was anticlimactic. Um, I guess not. I guess he has to stay alive a little longer before that happens. I, mean, I could have hit him with the foam sword, but... Which I only recently found out the foam sword's meant specifically to not totally kill things. Anyway. Yeah, it's only a two it's only a two boss raid. Which is why I was like, I'm not gonna do a full raid right now, but two boss raid will work. That's acceptable. So now that I'm here, 
or rather now that I'm where I have an adventure journal I can look at I was babbling before oh excuse me um I wanted to look at what are the four raids of cataclysm ah Baron and hold I always get Baron and hold was a raid uh Barrett and Hull, Blackwing Descent, Bastion of Twilight, Throne, oh, Throne of the Four Winds. So it's going to be those four. It's going to be Barrett and Hull, Blackwing's Descent, Bastion of Twilight, and Throne of the Four Winds. And then later on is Firelands, and then finally Dragon Soul. Because Dragon Soul is definitely the last dragon, I can tell you that much. <laughs> so, all right. I completely forgot about Throne of the Four Winds, and, uh, and, uh, I already forgot. <laughs> Throw in the four winds and and Barrett and told Blackwing's Ascent. I knew about I remember Blackwing's Ascent, but I forgot. I was like, it's another one of those ones in Black Rock Mountain. Nefarian's back, that one, and Anixia comes back, and I remembered what you do in it, but I forgot what it was called. Blackwing's Ascent. Um, that's new Twilight. I remembered. Because I'm still farming that for shit. Uh, Throne of the Four Winds. I forgot. I just forgot. And Barrett and Hold. I keep forgetting is actually a raid. It's um. It's a. It's one of those raids that you only get access to if. I'm gonna actually take a. I'm gonna take the portal actually to Delaware. Um. It's one of those. Actually, what I could do, because I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm in Outland, I'm gonna go Draenor. I could use a reflecting mirror, but I, I'm not trying to break the game right now. Will you follow the ley lines and find the equivalent? That's another way you can portal, but where you show up is a little less control of them. I'm not going to do that. I try to have night song playing in my garrison. It's probably to set up for Halloween and Christmas. Apparently, I have both going. I know it's set up for Halloween, but there's still there's still a. I did want to check something though. Carrison Arbor House. Uh, I guess you don't get it unless you're a horde. I'd have to check it on a horde character. Um, it's a it's a Torin song. Um, yeah, there's still actually some scrolls I don't have. I don't think did I get invincible? I don't think I got invincible yet. I thought I had invincible. So, McGraw. be safe. Where can I get my music from? Oh, Black Temple. You still won't be prepared for the hard hitting bass of the tracks you'll find. Yeah, there is. There's, I think, the, ba the uh, Battle of Illidan is a trek, yeah. So I, I still have to get those scrolls. One of these days. But there is one that is a. Um... I've heard um, it referred to as Mulgor. Uh. Dragon riding in a uh, Warlord. Can I? It's still, the music's still following me. I'm guessing it didn't expect me to uh, dragon ride. Don't 
yeah, I, want, I specifically wanted to go to Tanan Jungle right now. Oh, interesting. I mostly wanted to fly over uh, Hellfire Citadel. I remember that area. I have to grind here for a bit too. I was hoping to see if the freaking rare was here. Guarantee you people are still farming it. Yep, told you. Oh wait, no, that's my that's my that's my follower. I do kind of miss followers. Alright. So I am now going to take. That's the other Dell around Hearthstone. I'll take that one. I'm just traveling back and forth because I still have to fly over. I'm taking this. I'm in Legion Dell. I'm not. Damn it. I'm not in. Ah. Ronin. Sorry. Go here. So. I'm not going to fly too far. I'm all have Hearthstones. So I'm going back to Veldraken. So we flew through Shethrath. We're going the other way. We don't need to fly through there. I know right away I, don't, I can't drag him right through freaking Shadowlands. I don't know, maybe we can. So, Shathrath we did Warlord, so I'm a little bit out of sequence, but hey. Um, that's Northrend, so let's, let's go Northrend. I'm close enough to Ice Ground to the Delta. A different Dalaran. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna dragon ride over ice crown. Of course I am. Oh hey. Where's the? Oh, there's a the horde ship. I mean, you could, of course, you could always fly right up here before, but. Look familiar. <laughs> Let 
I'm going right back into Dallas. I'm not in Dalaran, I'm now in Dragonblade. It's the Wrathgate. There's Alex Straza. Another big oopsie. I hear people screaming. Yeah, we're, just gonna go to we're just gonna go back to Dalaran. Which is there. Did they change this button? Dragon Isle Summary? Oops. I don't know, maybe I'm, I've just seen it so much now I'm thinking I'm seeing something else. I, um, let's take our portal. Next city we're visiting from ages past. I'm not flying all through North End, but North End, we know that's useless. And Ariel. Cannot fly over the time of style set. And I do not think you, you cannot fly over um, the Thunder Isles, the, where the, the Thunder King is. I'll know in a second. But what I am curious about when this loads. Isle of Thunder. The Thundering Isles. did love Pandaria. If they didn't cut so much content, it would be an area I would um, raise characters in. Of course, I can't check this. Don't be silly. It should still be the same. Should still be wrecked. Yeah. Everything's everything's as I left it. Hey Tong. Hey Dome Tong. I see you, Tong. Um I mean I'm just I'm doing this because I'm I'm trying to see if like there are tiny little dates to areas. Not really is the is the answer to that. Oh good. Veil vale of Eternal Blossoms. Now is there an Azoth attack this Oh, there's These a major assault. Clans seek to seize the veil for themselves. No no no, it's a minor. Show attack. them that they are nothing before the Rajani. It's still in the hybrid uh, BFA Pandaria mode. Though you're still getting like half and half. Um, like Assault of the Warring Clans, that's BFA because it's an assault. You can tell by the eyeball. But this area over here. It's still old Pandaria. It's very weird. Please tell me it went the right way. The the horde and the alliance like exactly look the same except they're like mirror images of each other. Like the things are on the opposite sides, I believe. So it's very disorienting every time I come in here. Yes, and I went to the bank because that's what I always do. I always go to the bank when I mean to go to the portal, which there should only be one portal now, I think. 
I just need the portal to get me back into Stormwind. There's still stuff I need from Pandarsh. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'll put that on my list of things to do. Yeah, it's your Stormwind portal. It's like your lonely little Stormwind portal. This, this again, was the portal... Every expansion has its portal room hub. And then eventually loses it. I don't think... Yeah, no. Um, not counting the new portals that are going to show up in Amir Drasil, Um The only portals are to the main cities. To Ogrimmar and, and Darnassus. Uh, not Darnassus. <laughs> Stormwind. In uh, Valdragon. But, you know, past expansions, like you had your multiple portals in multiple cities. Shadow Innocent. BFA definitely did. In fact, BFA is still useful in the fact that Boralus will help you get to Iron Ironforge during this holiday event, by the way, if you need a shortcut. Stormwind, Boralus, turn around, there's Ironforge. Uh. We did that. We did you. We did but you. There's no point in doing you. So. I think that is all I'm going to do for. Let me just check. Ashran. No, we don't need to do that. Azuna. We don't need to do that. We already did that. Feldraken. We know what that looks like. Um, let's fly a little bit around Boralus. I know it's not Ward side. Um. I want to fly a little bit around Boralus. And then we're going to um, come back here. I'm not going to sell this. This now just suck. I might fly a Nadjasar. Dragon running, because it's technically a different sound. Have more keep. I'm not going to really leave Boralus. I could fly over different areas, but I'm just going to stick Boralus right now. Because Boralus is a cool city. Let's say Zuldazar isn't. I can get around Boralus easier than Zuldazar. <laughs> So on that level, yes. <laughs> but I don't know, it's got a vibe. So So from here we'll go back to Stormwind. I need to get to closer to Gilneas. So to do that, we can't take any of the portals here. I was gonna fly around Nadjasar. Ah, well, it's fine. I can do all that. I can do all that uh, later. And the closest we can get to Gilneas, unfortunately, is Twilight Highlands. So... No, 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 it is Twilight Highlands. I was going to come out and no, that different continent! That's a different continent! I'm so glad I opened up that just ago. There's some characters they port there and it's like, there's no fly points, there's nothing. Yes, I learned the 
I learned the up thing. What's it called? The skyward ascent. Quick correct. Trick. Haven't been straight up winning gold in the races, but I have been able to do the challenge races now. Oh. I need to go more north than that. I mean, it is kind of the point and click and go method is still alive and well. There's a broken Zeppelin over there. Sorry. Intrigued. I think this is just decoration, because there's no other way to get up here. And I just never flew over that spot before, but... Stromgard. No, we're not killing the Grinch. Knowing my luck, I'd get the freaking saddle and then I'm just going to be mad. So I'm not going to do it. I was thinking of doing this on my, uh... On my war gun to see if there's different dialogue, but I think, honestly... It'll make more sense to do that. After it's up. Because they're not going to put stuff just on the PTR that they're not going to include in it, so from what I understand... The heat. If you hear random banging, that's actually uh, um, the heat coming up. Finally, it's so. I mean, Gilne. Interesting. Um, Gilne has always had a kind of unfinished. Unknown is here. Hey, unknown. How you doing, unknown? <laughs> um, I know unknown. Our good old friend. Our good old PTR friend, unknown. Um. Not, not related to Captain Exposition. Who is here? But I don't know if he's actually here. Um, but he shows up in PTRs for usually major quest testing. So, oh, I can catch, I can catch pets. So going through. Well, Nais is still raining because, of course. However, there are people in Gilneas. This is the important thing. They're named unknown. But there are people in Gilneas now. Gilnean shopkeeper. They have generic names. Unknown, 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 unknown. Um, got mailboxes. You actually mail stuff. I can pick up my brew of the month. Yay! But you can't talk to anyone. You can walk the streets, though. Here's a couple of worgen just, you know, having a drink in the chat. Everybody's got their hats on. The top hats. So yeah, there's activity and there's there's shopkeepers. Oh, can I buy anything from you one now? No? Alright. So the shopkeepers there was there was nobody in the streets um until a recent update to the PTR. There was nobody. Gilneas was 
a ghost town. I mean, the last time I visited Gilneas, Gil he got the power of soul. Last time I visited Gilneas in um, the live game was for the um, Eastern Kingdoms dragon riding. That's the last time. So yeah, so what you have now, I mean, this is pretty much all there is. Um, they're doing repairs, building a worker. Just folks are walking the street. Is um, let's go up to uh, Gen's mansion. Mansion is. It's pretty obvious. I don't think that's is that it. No, this is Tempest Reach. There's other people here. Um. The lighthouse. We don't want the lighthouse. There's a whole manor. It's on the other side there. I think I see it. The architecture's great. Oh, it's just like, no, no, that's the wall. There it is, I think. And I keep saying, there it is. No, there it is. No, there it is. But I'm almost certain. No, that's just a bridge. What the hey? Is that it? It's just a village. But there's more folks here. Oh, can I talk to you? Nope. Not yet, anyway. Oh, hey, here's an unknown. Unknown... They're either um, characters, if you don't know, uh, characters that haven't been put in yet. And they may not be major characters, but they may also be updated appearances. I could have sworn Gen had a mansion. Um, so. I'm going to park on a roof somewhere here. For instance, um, in the Abris raid, Graeme Manor. See, there's a whole thing. The whole Grey Main Manor. It's the other way. It's that. It's that way. Um, uh, Abyssian's model was that blue and white checkered box. Is that it? Is it? Oh, it's further. I didn't go fly far enough. Okay. Um, there we go. So. He was a little blue my checkered box. Because so they had updated his model and they didn't want to reveal that yet in the PTR, which was cool. Okay, so now we're in Gen's house. Um, he was putting up some of the refugees. Doesn't look like this has been. There's people in there, but it doesn't look like. We still have the bedrolls here for when people settled there. I don't know, maybe, the, maybe folks are still there. It's still got dinner set out. Does like any of this have changed? Except that now there are people in there that weren't there before. Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. Oh, what is this? Hold on. There's a lot of work to be done before this manor is is inhabitable again. Isn't it habitable? Okay. The dust alone would take weeks to get out. I'd like the manor to myself for a while. Keep your chin up, eh? I'd like the manor to myself for a while. What is that about? I will I will choose that option in a second. But she's the only person in Gilneas right now with an option. The manor is inhabitable, but I'd like the manor to myself for a while. What does that do? There's really nothing else to do in the manor, so... 
What's your story? All right, I like it. Long live Greymane. The Greymanes did say you'd maybe buy. We will be back tomorrow. Everybody, let's give Arleo space. So they all leave. We leave for the day. So I have no idea what that does. I'm really curious to know what that does. I really want to know what that does. I mean, we'll find out soon enough, but... You can rent out Greymane Manor for the day? Have it for yourself? I mean, it's got to be more than just like an RP thing. I mean, there's got to be a point to it. I mean, Gen's like, oh yeah, she'll be stopping by if she wants the... Uh, she wants to herself like her. Oh, rocking chair. Can I rock? I don't even know how to rock in the rocking chair. It'd be fun if you could make them rock. Um, Gilney and Raven. Just hovering there on the end there. Interesting. And that's the only thing that works or talks to you in all of, of uh, Gilneas. That's intriguing, uh, to put it mildly. So I'm going to actually leave her here um, in Gilnean Manor. I don't know if I'll be visiting the PTR again uh, before the patch comes, but I, it might be worth a trip to do so. But clearing out the manor is for yourself to have it for a while is interesting. Especially, Gen was like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, she says she wants to manage herself, you know, just leave. What's going on, Gen? Why do you, why is it, why is it okay? So I'm curious to see how that, that probably works into the story somehow, but, um, don't know how yet, but we'll find out. So yeah, we'll see. What I'm going to do now um, is I am going to turn the desktop audio off first. And I am going to go have a break. Um, and... Oh. This is appropriate. I'm going to go have a break and switch to retail. And uh, then I'll be back to, to finish up something retail. Remember, Professor Ash. Because we're going to be finishing up something with Professor Ash. Ash Professor, Professor, Professor Ash this evening. Professor Ash has a quest. Um, I haven't been... Uh, Mithrin Dare, we saw him. Um, I haven't been um, streaming this quest. It's it's not like a whole, each week you only do one part. It takes several weeks. It does culminate an amount, and that's why I'm here for this. Um, because I believe this is the week it does so. Uh, and I was like, let me save that. She she now uh, handles the end. Um, she's in the end. Edith Morgan is um, the druid you asked to make flower crowns. I didn't realize she actually was over here occasionally going into these flowers and then coming back and making more flower crowns. And all these characters have flower crowns on their heads too. Do the, the drag deer have them? No, the drag deer do not have flower crowns. Okay. Anyway, Professor Ash. Hello, Arleia. How can I be of service? A little hope is never without worth. The plant has matured and is thriving. With this little corner of our ecosystem restored, we've been we've seen something that we've seen something I've been wishing for since I learned what you were up to. 
the dream talent have returned with their kits. One of the grateful mature dream talents has offered their services to you if you wish it. Speak to Professor Ash. Accept. So. I was like, I'm pretty sure I have to go back to the bud. So you first find this bud, and it, it's all torched up. It's looking bad. And you have to do take several steps to hydrate it and treat it well. And All right, I have to fly there. <laughs> it should be... Oh, and here it is. It does not look like this. It looks like one little sprout in the ground. You actually see examples of it elsewhere. Anyway, these dream talons. There was a bunch gathered there. Their kits were, you could see them running around. Attacking dragonflies. They are adorable. Um, <laughs> they are adorable. Uh, and they disappeared during one stage and now they came back. So he's telling you to go over there. It was just like one little small little, little crispy flower right here. And you brought it back. There's a druidic totem right here. It, it's a little moonkin. Um, but yeah, so we're going to talk to Professor Ash. If you treat this dream gene talon like you've treated this plant, they are very lucky indeed. So you get a plump weed, so you get Wolfing Streaming Crest, you get a rep, rep token, um, and you get Reigns of the Ochre Dream Talon. So let's look at. I'm not gonna. Well, I'm gonna just hold on to the rep and. You know, it's a quick rep later. <gasps> okay, I love it. I'm gonna set. I set them all as a favorite. It's got a raptor type feel to it. But I kind of love it. I mean, it's... It's a great mount. I love it. It's like a raptor cat. It's what it is. It's a raptor cat. It's a raptor kitty. It's a raptor kitty. It's exactly a raptor model. It does the toe thing. The little, the little toe lift that raptors do. It's a raptor kitty. It's really cute, though. I love it. I never notice those little petals of flowers flying about. It's just little kits all over the place. I was going to put this on a... Dream tell. I guess I'll have to look it up. I don't think I'm going to replace any of my current mounts with it, though. Maybe. Oh, you know what? I have a few dream talents actually now that I look at it. But this one I like because I like the red the red fur coloration. This is something about the coloration I like better. And I worked for it. Um I'm gonna change the whimsy drake because I don't really use that.
So yeah, I have a new mount. That's exciting. That was worth the many weeks. It was minimal effort. It really was. The quests were super simple. Man, I'm going to be thinking about why we can rent out Greymane's Manor for the evening. What is, up? what is up with that? I don't know about that, man. Oh, I fell. Don't mind me, Goldrin. Just being clumsy. So. I have to get, um, some more pets from the area. I have to finish out the pet hunting. Believable dream! Just, I like how Cenarian's just hanging out and chilling. And I like that the game acknowledges that part of it. Um, given, like, the key part he played in, in Warcraft 3 to, you know, the part he played in, in Legion, to just his whole lore and with the druids and a lot of other things. And, and he was just like, oh, hey, since you're in the Emerald Dream, you know, I'll hang and help out a bit and give me some daily quests to do. <laughs> um... But also, uh, that during the, um, the lead up to the Amirdrasil raid where you're, you have to blow the horn at all the other, uh, to, to get everyone riled up, excited to fight. If you go to him, he's like, oh, my horn. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, he's like, I'm glad, I'm, I'm happy you can, you, you thought to include me, even though you're using my horn. It's kind of this nod like, yeah, the, the last time we used it, you were dead. <laughs> so you can use it, and by the way, we have your horn. It's, it's, it's interesting. Um, uh, this is what I wanted to check, us. that's why I'm hovering over here. And I gotta find out, I need to get these. And I think I do have to win those in pet battles. I haven't. No, nah, they got definite names. I think these are seed pets. Damn it. That's, a lot, of, that's a lot of blue seeds. But yeah. So there's more stuff I'm collecting. Um, so yeah. I think. And I'm going to leave our lay over here in this inn for now. That's all I was going to do on, on retail. Was uh, hand in that quest. Because I've done all my chores. I was good, I got my chores in today. But, um. This is a title called Trash Master? I need to find out what that is. So, anyway, yeah. That is. where I'm gonna leave it for the evening. Um, and wherever you are, and however you are watching this, at whatever time, um. Thank you for dropping by and watching my silliness. Uh, it's appreciated. I see the views. It makes me happy. I know I'm not entirely wasting my time. I'm keeping someone entertained somewhere. Um, if you don't get a chance to watch outdoors, have, you know, if your holiday has already passed. Um, so, you know, news will probably be affecting more people. Um... You know, have a safe and healthy holiday. It I, it always feels like it's the end of something. Uh, but... It's just a day on the calendar. And a new year you have to remember. Just no, another number you have to remember. It doesn't mean anything. If, if the promises, if the things you, you... If you had a resolutions last year you didn't keep, who cares? You're still alive, you're still here, you can still do stuff. That's all that matters. Anyway, 
stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for watching and have a good day.